All right, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to um, the person's website that referred you. And you can do that either by getting their direct link from them, um, or you can go to office.tradecoinclub.com um, and then uh, click on the register button or create an account. Preferably, you're communicating with your um, the person that's invited you. That way you can have a clearer understanding of what's going on instead of just trying to guess. I've had a few people sign up in my business and I, they won't answer their emails. And it's kind of frustrating because I want their success so badly. And uh, when they don't answer, it, it kind of can be frustrating. So uh, one of the options that we'll be going over is how to create a join tcc.me website so you can give it to them. But um, here is the sign up page uh, that you will want to send your people to. And right here is where your sponsor, your name, if you're the sponsor or if you're the guy that's signing up, this is your sponsor's username. So uh, the first thing you do is you select whether it's English or not. And if you are in America, you just scroll to the very bottom and you look up here and you see USA. So that's going to be the first thing you do. Then you're going to type in your name. Say it's John Smith. Okay. And it's going to create a username for you based on your name and prior people signing up. And it doesn't mean you have to accept that pseudonym. So you can go ahead and erase it. And you can say that you want to um, um, Mickey. Just call it Mickey, right? And well, wait a second, it doesn't say that it's not available, so we're going to stick with that. And then you're going to enter in your passport or your driver's license. Okay, and that's nobody's driver's license, I just kind of made it up. And then your phone number, that's information, so uh, if you want to call that, you're more than welcome to. Um, and then here's the email, so we might go mickey at gmail.com, mickey. Oops, I can't spell today, can I? Um, at gmail.com. It's not going to accept it, though, and I want you to see what happens here. And it says it must include, uh, must have a confirmation. And it gives you all the reasons why it didn't happen. So let's go to here again, and we're going to change this to spell it correctly. Okay, there we go, we got them to match. And if you made this one a capital and this one a lowercase, even though they're the same word, it'll still be the wrong thing. Then select your gender and then your birth date. Okay, I just made up a birth date there too because this isn't a real account. And then the password. Okay, so I had somebody get to this point, they clicked on terms. And conditions and they hit I accept and instead of reading through it and paying attention they hit accept then they typed in the uh, security questions here and let's do that and they hit save and the thing is is it says right here you must um, provide a value for the field login so let's scroll up or no actually right in here this is what I was talking about you have to enter your name and then hit I accept now I don't want to submit this because this is a fake account and I'm not going to do it but I enter that in and you'll notice it doesn't have all capitals but it's actually not necessary so the first thing that you're going to do after all this you're going to hit save and a box is going to pop up and it's going to say an activation is necessary so then you would go to your email and activate your account so that's the first step have a great day